For this lesson, you need to open the sample file World Sales 7 from your Sample Files folder. In the previous lesson, it was easy to select the source data for the chart because it comprised of a single block of cells. In this case, the cells A1 to C4. When a range consists of a single block, we use the word contiguous for this type of range. In this lesson, we'll take things a little further by selecting data that isn't in a single block. We call this type of range a non-contiguous range. Imagine you want to chart sales for all months in the USA and other categories by changing the source data. The chart's source data will need to be cells A1 to B4 along with cells D1 to D4. So I'll bring up the Select Data Source dialog in the same way I did in the previous lesson. So that's a right click in the plot area of the chart and then Select Data from the shortcut menu. And just as in the previous lesson, I want you to only focus on the Chart Data Range text box. The other features in the Select Data Source dialog will be covered in future lessons. So I'll begin by removing the existing range. You can see a marquee around the existing range in the source data. That is cells A1 to C4. I'm now going to select the existing range and press the delete key on the keyboard. And with the cursor still flashing in the text box, I'll select cells A1 to B4. Now I'll hold down the control key on the keyboard and select cells D1 to D4. And I've now selected the non-contiguous range A1 to B4 along with cells D1 to D4. Selecting non-contiguous ranges was covered extensively in Lesson 2-7. I'll now click the OK button and you can see that I have exactly the result I wanted. I'm charting sales for the USA and other regions for all three months. Now let's add a new column to the source data to show the total sales for all three regions. So I'll click in cell E1 and type the word total. I'll then put an auto sum in cell E2. Auto sum was covered in lesson 2 3. So I click home on the ribbon, editing, auto sum, and then auto sum again. And now I'll auto fill to cell E4. I'm now showing the total sales for all regions in column E. My next challenge is to chart only the total sales. So I'll right click in the plot area of the chart and then choose select data from the shortcut menu. In the select data source dialog, I'll delete the existing data range and I'll select cells A1 to A4, hold down the control key on the keyboard and select cells E1 to E4. And when I click OK, you can see that that's, again, exactly the result I wanted. I'm now only charting the total sales for all three regions. And let's now change the source data again, back again to a contiguous block of cells, so that sales for all three regions, USA, Europe and other, are charted, but not the total column. This means that the source data will need to be cells A1 to D4. So once again I'll right click in the plot area and choose Select Data from the shortcut menu. Once again I'll delete the existing data range from the Chart Data Range text box and then I'll select cells A1 to D4. And when I click OK I have the result that I wanted. Sales for all three regions for all three months but not any of the values in the total column. All that remains for this lesson is to save your work and I'm going to save with the new name World Sales 8 and as usual I'll save to the folder above my sample files folder.
I click the Save button and you've now completed Lesson 512. Assign non-contiguous source data to a chart.